Hey there, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware, and recently we've been taking a look at the Alienware X series of gaming laptops. A few months back, we took a look at the Alienware X15, 15-inch gaming laptop. A few weeks ago, we took a look at the Alienware X17 R2, 17-inch gaming laptop, now infused with Intel's Alder Lake 12th Gen Core Series processor technology, as well as some serious firepower with the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti under its hood. But today we're going to take a couple steps down to a little bit more pint-sized and petite form factor with the Alienware X14 14-inch gaming laptop, also infused with Intel's 12th Gen Core Series processor technology, as well as a GeForce RTX 3060 under its hood for a fair bit of firepower and a pretty small footprint. Let's take you on a nickel tour next. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I've gone ahead and taken the liberty of pre-unboxing the Alienware X14 for you just a little bit here. Presented in its standard pizza style box. This looks to be a pre-retail box however because there's no fancy artwork like we saw on the X17 R2's box that we showed you just a few weeks ago. But here she is, the Alienware X14. This is the first 14 inch Alienware gaming laptop by Dell. And we will get to that in short order. Just a little over four pounds, uh, thin and light beauty. Let's uh, take a look at what comes with it though. You do get a 130 watt AC adapter. This is a pretty petite brick for 130 watt output. And you can see here, it's also a USB-C type connector for charging. So standard USB-C charger brick that plugs into the rear of the machine as you'll see shortly, nice little cable gather there. And Dell also took the liberty of sending along the Alienware 720M wireless gaming mouse. And as you can also see here, RGB lit coordinated with Alienware Command Center software will let you coordinate your lighting along with your laptop with the Alienware Command Center. This is a very high resolution mouse. They say it's 26,000 DPI. It is wireless, multi-configurable buttons, and also you can plug it in via USB-C as well. So that's the Alienware 720M wireless gaming mouse. We're not gonna be reviewing that, but it's a pretty swank looking mouse. And uh, as you can see, the color, the paint, on it, it matches the Legend 2.0 Lunar Light white paint of the X14 as well. And taking a walk around the main event here, the Alienware X14 in the Lunar Light, which is the only color option for this thin wafer of a laptop. 14 inch laptop, super thin, built out of CNC aluminum along with magnesium composite parts and the Legend 2.0 design signature by Dell Alienware. And how did they get this so thin, you might be asking? Well, in part by employing a dual torque hinge design. And to be more specific, Alienware calls it a dual torque element hinge design, which is a patented innovation that the company put together to afford this machine's wafer thin Z height. The hinge resides right back here in the rear of the machine. It is a dual torque element hinge is what they call it. And it affords this machine because that would be the thickest part of the design in the rear of the chassis here where the hinge mechanism is. It affords this machine a 0.57 inch Z height. It is wafer thin. And Alienware actually claims it's the thinnest 14 inch gaming laptop on the planet. I wouldn't argue with them, especially if you qualify it with the word gaming. As gaming laptops go, this is about as thin as I have ever seen a machine and it's only a little over four pounds, 4.06 pounds for our configuration to be exact. Now walking around the Alienware X14 a little bit more, you will realize that there are actually no IO ports on either side edge of this laptop, just vents for its cooling solution. On the rear, that's where all the IO action is. And back here, you've got a global headset jack, HDMI 2.1 port, a type A USB 3.2 gen one port, micro SD card slot, two USB type C Thunderbolt four ports with USB four, power delivery and display port 1.4, a USB type C 3.2 gen two port with power delivery and display port 1.4 as well. And again, back here is where you plug in that USB-C 130 watt power adapter. 
The keyboard of the X14 is a standard chiclet style setup with 1.2 millimeters of travel and good tactility. It's a comfortable typing experience with a set of media function keys for volume, mute, and mic mute on the right, but no numpad, but it's a nice, spacious, comfortable typing deck in general. Unfortunately, those RGB backlit keys, the function row up top, still only has the function numbers backlit and not the icons that are silk screened on the keycaps, however. The trackpad is a hair on the small side, but again, this is a 14 inch machine and there is very little flex in the typing deck to speak of. So let's talk specs. Our machine is powered by an Intel Core i7-12700H 14 core Alder Lake processor with 20 threads, up to 4.7 gigahertz max turbo boost frequency. That's eight efficiency cores and six performance cores in that chip. Also on option is a Core i5-12500H 12, 12 core CPU boosts to 4.5 gigahertz. For memory, you've got 16 and 32 gig configurations. Our machine is a 32 gig LPDDR5 5200 megahertz option. There are also 16 gig DDR5 5200 megahertz and 16 gig DDR5 4800 megahertz options. Storage, we have a single drive in our machine and there's only single drive options up to two terabytes. We have a two terabyte PCI Express NVMe M2 SSD on board. And for graphics, we have a GeForce RTX 3060 on board with six gig gigabytes of GDDR6, but also GeForce RTX 3050 Ti 4 gig and GeForce RTX 3050 4 gig configurations are available. All of that is backed up by an 80 watt hour battery and as you might expect in this thin and light weight class machine, RAM is soldered to the board, no sodium sockets here, but you do get access to your M2 SSD slot right here, as well as the Wi-Fi 6E combo Bluetooth radio module right there. And of course, you've got Alienware's dual fan setup for their Cryotech cooling system, which you can see here, and the 80.5 watt hour battery. And finally, capping off those specs in sound and vision, we have but one display option in the X4 and that's a 14 inch 1080p display 144 hertz refresh rate with a three millisecond response time and support for comfort view plus low blue light technology and nvidia g-sync and advanced optimist it's a fairly punchy display 400 nits of brightness with good contrast saturation and pop and low glare and it's actually a pretty solid offering and certainly up to the gaming challenge integrated in that display is a 720p webcam with dual array microphone and windows hello support and the x14's speaker system is comprised of a pair of stereo speakers mounted just above the function row on the left and right side in the vent area above the keyboard they're top firing speakers they have decent highs and good mid-range but are lacking Lacking some low end response as is typical in this size and weight class machine. But enough with the design evaluation and specs rundown. We're sure you're here for a few benchmark runs. So let's do a quick sanity check with Cinebench R23 and look at that Core i7 12700H 14 core CPU. And it's going to score 16,123 Cinebench points in the multi-threaded test and 1,558 in the single-threaded test. And that's going to place this machine in the top quadrant of all gaming laptops we've tested to date. Even in the same company as beefier machines like MSI's GE76 Raider or the Alienware X17 R2. Dropping in for a little 3D Mark Time Spy action DX12 synthetic benchmarking here. We're going to score 7,800. 143 3D marks, and that's going to rank this machine right in the pack with other GeForce RTX 30 powered laptops, but some of which, like the Asus ROG Zephyrus M16, are larger format machines for sure. But for our first game benchmark, let's start with those crazy cult followers of Far Cry 5. And we're going to clock in 103 frames per second with 90 frame per second min, so this machine is up to that task and then some. But let's balance the scales of justice a little bit with Guardians of the Galaxy. This time at 1080p ultra settings again, but with ray tracing enabled. So a seriously heavier workload going on here. And we're going to clock in at 53 frames per second with 43 frames per second min. So totally playable with ray tracing enabled at 1080p ultra settings and that's without dlss or anything like that enabled as well so solid performance totally playable on this laptop with ray tracing and finally let's shift gears to f1 2021 once again at the 1080p ultra quality preset 
with ray tracing once again enabled as well. And here we're going to clock in at 84 frames per second on average and 71 frames per second mins. And so totally playable performance in this great looking racing sim. Not quite in the same category as a GeForce RTX 3080 class machine like an Alienware X15 R1 or the Asus ROG Strix G15 with its Radeon RX 6800M, but in the hunt for sure and solid performance from a 14 inch four pound machine. In terms of thermals and acoustics, the Alienware X14 gets a little warm in the palm rest area, but not uncomfortable at all. And acoustically, it's actually fairly reasonable for such a powerful laptop and such a pint sized package. Actually puts out about 50 to 51, maybe 52 dB max under heavy gaming workloads. And at the performance, thermal profile so that's what we tested at and that is a higher speed fan setting kind of as expected for a gaming notebook on the battery life front we measured a little over three and a half hours of untethered uptime on this laptop in our hd video loopback test which places it kind of middle of the pack with that 80 watt hour battery it's so respectable uptime when you're not gaming while gaming you can certainly expect less available battery life because you're going to be stressing that cpu and gpu but respectable battery life for general purpose use with the alienware x14 and that about wraps up our quick take look at the all-new alienware x14 gaming laptop 14 inches of pint size powerful gaming fun on tap here for sure we're really impressed with this machine entry level price of 1650 dollars as configured and tested, $2,300 with that 32 gigs of RAM and GeForce RTX 3060 config with the Core i7-12700H. But make sure you stop by hothardware.com for our full review with all the benchmark details and analysis. And hit thumbs up and subscribe if you'd be so kind so you get notified when we have the next one fired up for you here at Hot Hardware. I'm Dave Altavilla with the Alienware X14 gaming laptop. Thanks for stopping by.